concept of Beis HaMikdash, of a Mishkan, is uh, something that is very central to our whole Avaidah. We speak, first of all, the, there's no Indian that the Torah is Marachan as much as the Mishkan. There's, there's four plus parshias just about the Mishkan. And the uh, we speak about it in so much. It, and the understanding is very simple, is if you ask yourself, uh, you know, we know Yiddish guy is all about a relationship between our Kodesh Baruch and Kali Yisrael. That's what Yiddish guy is all about. But there's really two levels of relationship. There's a level of relationship with Tzad, each individual as an individual, him and the Rebbein Shleil, her and the Rebbein Shleil. And then there's the, in, the relationship that the nation has with the Rebbein Shleil. And there's no question that Turn of Yom they emphasize the nation, the natural relationship. It's all about the natural relationship. There's also a little bit about the individual relationship, but the Icar is the natural relationship. But we dive much from a few times a day. We're not talking about our own personal relationship. We're talking about it as, as a nation. The, the identity of a Yid is, is more, is not so much me, rather, it's we. It's the identity of a nation, and not some nation that, that lives today, but the whole. The way Yid is supposed to see himself is, is a nation that, uh, uh, an entity that spans the generations. Is that, that's how we see ourselves. That's how, that, that's how we talk about ourselves in davening. That's how we, uh, uh, you know, we called the Kali was called Aveli Tzia. We're still mourning for the base of Middash that you know was gone for two thousand years. That's how we see ourselves. So and and the, the whole Nidva Samishkan and the whole concept of base of is that Kali Shul. Uh, pours out their love for HaKadosh Baruch Hu, and HaKadosh Baruch Hu comes to Mashur Shechina on that love that Kal Yisrael collectively pours out to, to HaKadosh Baruch Hu. In the Chassidish Shosharim it says, I, I saw it for some of many, that when, when it's not just a one-time thing. We need to say, it's a love when the Beis HaMikdash is built, it will be a, a, all the tshuka, all the yearning that Kal Yisrael had throughout the generations. For the base of Mikdash, that will be packed into the to the to the Bayish Lishi. It's it's a. But there's an interesting thing over here is that if you look in the in the parsha, there's something that seems to be out of order. It, it, the way the parsha starts out, it's it's a vehicle and truma meis kol l'shashay venuli, but and then it goes on to say which materials need to be brought, and only after it speaks about the materials that need to be brought that also the Mikdash b'shachanti b'seicham. And what compounds the question is that right away in the beginning of the part of the Yichul it Rash says, Li Lushmi. And usually we understand the concept of Lushma is for the sake of whatever it needs to be done. That's what Lushma is. You know, like uh, doing uh, whatever it is, you know, carbon Lushma. So no, there's a carbon oil, there's a carbon chat, there's a carbon shlama, whatever it is. So Lachar, you would need to know what the purpose is before you tell me what you need the materials for. So on the one hand, you can say it's not a question at all because the concept of the Beis HaMikdash is so obvious that you don't have to spell that out. It's obvious that Kali Yisrael wants the Asherah and you don't have to say that. Like, and there is, there, is a, there is truth to that. Whenever it says, uh, you know, whenever Kali Yisrael is Mavakish, without saying what it is, it means for Asherah So it could be that that's one way of answering it. But the, the Mepharshim are bothered of a, a very obvious question. What's V'yikhuli Truma? Should we V'yitnuli Truma? And, and uh, they say like this, is that there's is, this is a step that comes before the Beis HaMikdash. There's a step that, before the, there has to be something before the Beis HaMikdash. Because there's a cloud, there's a cloud that, that, uh, that the British of Etzim wants to come down to earth over here. It's, it's, he, that, that, that's what he wanted. But it, the, and that's where he was, by, you know, before, by the other region for the that's where he was. It was the Khatam of people that pushed him back up. So the, the, the idea of, of, uh, of, uh, of let's say, Gaiva, or, or the, the biggest theory to, to Ravadim Shah, Shah Sashkin, is a person's idea of that, see, instead of seeing the Ravadim as the boss, seeing himself as the boss. David Amalek, when he, when he, it says over there in Devar Yemen, when he gathered all the people together, and they had all the, the money for the Beisimik Bayes Rishon put together, so he said to HaKadosh Baruch Hu, Ki mimcha kol miyadcha nasan Allah. The Zakdama to the whole concept of building Beis HaMikdash is the recognition that everything belongs to Hashem. And that's the Haritat B'yidhu Yitruma, is the first step is, recognize that it's mine. And that's, that means, and, and only when you recognize that it's mine, then it becomes yours. In other words, because that really is all an illusion. The revenge gives an illusion to think it's ours, and it's, it's not really ours. When a person reckons, the first step is to, that the money, and that could be, 
that could be li lishmi, meaning to say is the first step is recognizing that it belongs to Hashem. Recognize that the money belongs to Hashem, and, and not only the money belongs to Hashem, but even the ability to, to yearn for HaKadosh Baruch Hu, and the ability to build a base of all that belongs to HaKadosh Baruch Hu. And, and after you have that, then we can start building a base of it, there's, there's, In the after of, of the... It's, it's in the beginning of the Malach, Malach put down the first base of Mikdash, he turns to HaKadosh Baruch Hu and he says, Banoi Banisi Beis Vullach. I built a house for you. Now it's partial that if there would have been a speck of 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 guy for you, a speck of like I accomplished something in it, then there wouldn't have been Hashra Sashkin over there. Because when it comes to Gaiva in another can't live together with Gaiva. The whole idea of it is that if a person sees it as a gift from Akadash Baruch, the ability to build a base and from to Akadash Baruch and the ability to give and to yearn and to Put all your kaychas together. A per, the first step is a person has to see it. This is a gift that Kadosh Baruch was giving him, and that's vikuli. Vikuli meaning says that that recognize that I'm giving you this gift. When you recognize I'm giving you this gift, then you can start building. Then you can start uh, putting together base and mikdash.